Our Christine Hager has been looking at the conditions in Worcester and you're kind of at a spot where you've seen uh, many spin outs going on and just people trying to help others out and, and get to where they need to go. Yeah, Route 9 here in Worcester, and this is a bit of a hill, Belmont Hill, and so we have seen cars spinning out, and we've seen this all over the area, really, west of Boston. As we've been driving around this morning, I saw a couple of cars pulled over on the side of the road on 495, just south of the Mass Pike. We also saw a, a tractor trailer stuck on the side of the road on Route 146, south of Worcester, and then a, two more trucks stuck right on Main Street. I, I saw one truck with a smashed up trailer and the truck driver said it felt like King Kong hit the back of his truck. At least he was joking around. I also spoke with the Dunkin Donuts delivery driver and here's what he had to say about why it was so important he make his delivery even though he got stuck as he pulled into the coffee shop. Sometimes you got to just drive through the snowbanks. Uh, sometimes you get hung up on the snowbanks. Sometimes you got to back back away from the snowbanks. It really just depends on how the the city of town uh, you know plows the streets. And there's only so much that you can do with all this snow. So. And they cancel school, but business goes on. Well, plow drivers have got to drink coffee. So the <laughs> the cops, the the emergency crews, they got to keep warm and uh, get fed. So this is important stuff. Yeah, it is. And there's a fair amount of traffic out here, as we've been talking about. We didn't have the travel ban like we did last week, so pe some people are still trying to get to work despite these conditions. Uh, it, it, the difference also is that it's cold out here. So if you look at the pavement here on Route 9 on Belmont Hill, this snow is not melting when it hits the pavement. It's, it's actually packing down into layers, more than one layer, layer upon layer. And so there's not much for wheels to grab onto, not much traction. And that's why we've been seeing all this spinning out here this morning and cars that sometimes just have no choice but to pull over on the side of the road and wait it out.